freaking shit. Come on, time to see you guys how it's going. It's been a uh, what two days since I made a video last. So I figured bullshit with y'all for a night. So uh how have y'all been? Me, I don't know, kinda of been busy, so been um I know y'all haven't seen me since that video I made on the mud hole. <laughs> but, um, figured, uh, come on, bo chill with you guys. I sure wish y'all a, a happy 4th, but I was so busy yesterday. So, and today I've been a little busy too. Trying to clean one of these knuckles up for the dirty rango. So yeah. Um I figured come out make a video on some of the things I picked up Wednesday morning at uh, Harbor Freight. Cause uh I was running low low on a couple things and I figured pick up pick up the ah, pick them up. Um, and plus I picked up a, a impact slash drill. It was cheap, but I'm basically what I'm going to use that for is, um, cleaning. So, I'll go through what I picked up in a couple minutes here. Um, the reason I figured I'd clean these knuckles up is cause, uh, I, uh, wanted them to look nice once they go back on. I did the left side today, but... <clears throat> worked on this majority of the day. Basically cleaned it up. Compared to uh, here's what they look like before. This is the uh, right side, pretty filthy and a little rusty. Compared to that, to this, yeah, it looks like almost like a diamond, but it came off that. So that's what I've been doing is cleaning the wow knuckles up. So, um, so basically, what I picked up was um, Curious Box uh, E sixty eleven one eighth electrodes for welding. Two of them because I ran out because I go through them like hotcakes. Um, a couple wire brushes. I used one in my drill cleaning one of the knuckles up. These two come in handy. Uh, another grease oil paint. Spill 50 pack reusable washable uh, mechanic shop towels. 50. 50 count. Uh, it, uh, picked up at this uh, impact slash drill by Bauer. So, because I had one before, but I sold it. Needed money at the time, but uh, picked up uh, another pack of uh, four and a half cut all wheels and a four and a half grinding wheel. Just trying to get some of this stuff stocked up here, uh, and plus, I got a nice little working shop light now. Nothing special, but. 
fucking brighter than some of our refute. Oh, you freaking mule. You don't want to go on there? Fine. Oh, you want to? Yeah, fuck you. So, basically, the re yeah, the reason I bought that and pack slash drill is so I can clean like parts and wheel coals, that kind of thing. <laughs> so, that's why I got, I only spent like a touch over a hundred bucks and all that shit. Cause uh, what I'm gonna be doing is after I'm done cleaning the other knuckle, I'm gonna be cleaning everything where they go to look, ha look halfway decent once I put everything back together. So, yeah. That's what I've been up to is trying to get much work done as uh, possible. So, yeah. I mean, I really do like that slow light. It only cost me, what, six bucks? For us, the only reason I choose Harbor Freight is because a lot of their stuff is um, affordable for some uh, DIY doers and everything else. And oh, uh, if you all ever go to Harbor Freight and get stuff. Make sure you get, find, on the days they do this, you get free buckets. I got two, about four of them. One's cracked, the other one's bent to shit, uh, stuck together. One's being used as a rag bucket, bucket, and the other one as a garbage can. So, yeah, the only reason I'm doing all this stuff to uh, my rigs is because honestly I prefer having quality over quantity because let's face it, having quantity of lot lasers don't mean shit because you know damn well if they don't put the quality out. So. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Slowly getting everything, little by little, tools, parts, you name it. Um, I know once I get the funds, I will be getting probably two sets of ball, upper and lower ball joints, see the axles to start out with. So I can put the knuckles back on. Then after I order that, then I'll order the inner and outer tie rods. Then with the U-joints. And plus uh, calibers, brake pads, rotors. Because... I want to slowly get everything so I can get this big old pig out of my shop so I can get to some other projects. So, I'm getting there so it's just taking time. So, I mean, hiring bucks is what? Hiring bucks, who cares? So, that's why I'm doing, it's just mind my own goddamn business and work and, well, working out here helping folks with their stuff and all of that whole nine yards spiel. Um, either sometime this weekend or next weekend, I'm going to tear to the uh, running boards off so I can cut the rust out this either this weekend or next week 
because uh, I really don't want that rust on this thing any more than the next person. So, yeah, so I figured I'd come out here, bullshit, chill. Seeing how yellow's for the 4th of July went and everything like that. So, yeah. It's just basically I've been busy ass all the ghetto. Get out, or whatever you want to say it. So, um, and that reminds me, I gotta get a, uh, chop saw and, oh, you know, a bigger sandblaster so I can do a whole floorboard in that thing. Um, after I'm done cleaning the right knuckle, I'm gonna finish washing them down and spray painting them black. But I have to get some masking tape to cover the holes. Cause honestly, I don't need paint going down in the holes and being a bitch and I have to get the bolts down. Oh, uh, another thing, never use chrome sockets to a pile drive down uh, bolt cause my impact won on that round looked like a 12 gauge went and got shot off with a slug I don't know if y'all can see that but split right at at three of the corners out of the six no wait four out of six corners this is a six point and four out of six got busted. Looks like a slug. That's why you never use chrome with impacts. That's a good way of destroying your shit quick. So, but anyways. Just wanna come on here, check up on you guys, making sure y'all are doing all right. <sighs> so, basically that's where I'm at. Just cleaning up these knuckles to make them look new. Well, not new, but presentable. If you actually took the time cleaning some parts and making them look halfway decent, guarantee people are gonna respect that. Maybe I should put a, a chain through this and make it into a, a, a chain necklace, huh? How do y'all feel about that if I made something like this into a chain necklace and give it away for free? Just a little token of appreciation. Just wondering. Be kind of cool though. For all those people and folks and whatnot watching my shit supporting this channel trust me y'all are appreciated around here so but anyways i'm hopping off here and figure out what i'm gonna do next i know i gotta take that apart well there's not much but i gotta fix that one shield so yeah. But anyways, y'all take care, alright? And remember, be good. Don't do anything stupid. Later.